What's up everybody, AnimeX here, and in this video we will be talking about a topic that I think is pretty important, uh, seeing as how we will be, you know, enjoying ourselves, or at least us anime fans and manga fans will be enjoying ourselves going into the upcoming winter part of 2020 and going into 2021, right? Obviously, the title and thumbnail both suggest to me talking about 2021 being a great year for anime, shonen, seinen, manga, anything as a whole, basically the anime community. Um, this also does entail the, you know, tail end of 2020, including October anime that are coming out, October, like, you know, all that kind of good stuff, right? Just because that'll also be affecting the upcoming year. Now, this video is relatively, like, experimental, I guess. This isn't going to be something that becomes, like, a series. It's just me talking about my general excitement for the upcoming anime that are coming out. And it also acts as a, a, a little bit of an allusion to um, what videos will be coming out from me. So, the first anime that I think I want to talk about, and the one that's going to be very important this upcoming year, or not really just uh, this upcoming winter, or fall, my bad, is Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, obviously, if you consider yourself a big anime fan and you're in the anime community as a whole, you are aware of Jujutsu Kaisen's anime coming out in, I think it's October. I think October should be a fire month, by the way. I think it's October. Um, if it's not, I'll make sure to put the, uh, <laughs> the month and date up on the screen right now, but I'm pretty sure it's October. Anyways, Jujutsu Kaisen, my prediction is... Mm, in my video talking about Jujutsu Kaisen, I'll just let you guys know my prediction is going to be that it's going to be huge. I'll talk about and go more in depth about how big it's going to be, but it's going to be huge. I'll just say that Jujutsu Kaisen is going to be, I'm calling it, the next Demon Slayer in terms of how big it gets. Now, I could be wrong, but just based on the hype that's around its manga... I'm guessing Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen is going to be a juggernaut this October, right? Which is, just, I, <laughs> honestly, if you haven't read the manga yet, right, I suggest just waiting for the anime because it looks like it's going to be spectacular. I suggest just waiting for the anime, enjoying its first season, then reading the manga after that because trust me when I say that Jujutsu Kaisen is extremely good. It gives you Bleach vibes. If you like Bleach, <laughs> You're going you're gonna to like Jujutsu Kaisen, I think. Even if you don't like Bleach, I think it's going to be the type of anime slash manga that it's, you're really going to enjoy. Also coming out October is probably what I'm most favor like most hyped for, is because I haven't read the manga at all, is The Promised Neverland Season 2. You guys do not know how hype I am for Season 2 of The Promised Neverland to be coming out. Listen, if you haven't read or watched like up to the first season of the promised neverland honestly like even though this hurts the video in my youtube channel click off this video immediately go to the first episode of it watch it and i dare you to come back here and tell me that you aren't hooked on the series i dare you because that is how good and how hooking the first episode is i will not spoil it right but The Promised Neverland is amazing, especially in season, just in the first episode. And it only gets better. You get plot twists on top of plot twist, mind games. If you like Death Note, you're going to like this. If you like plot twists, you like mysteries, you're going to like this. You're going to love it, honestly, in general, right? The animation, stunning. <laughs> the art direction, stunning. Everything about this is just a very phenomenal piece of work put together. And I'm so excited to see that season two is coming very soon. Now... One that really has me hype as well uh, <laughs> is Bleach coming in 2021. Now, as of right now, as of me making this video, I don't think we have it confirmed what time or like what season Bleach is going to be coming in, but we know it's coming in 2020 as of right now. And when I tell you that when I, I'm excited for Bleach coming back, I am excited because this means that Bleach hype is going to be rekindled to the max and it's going to allow me to expand into some Bleach content as well. I called it out on my Twitter a while back that when Bleach comes back, people are going to be riding the wave of Bleach and I stick to that. I stick to that premonition. I promise you, you're going to see so much more Bleach content in the upcoming months. And especially when Bleach drops. The first episode of the new Bleach anime dropping, probably going to have the most Bleach content you've seen in such a long time. 
just because that's just that's just how us anime YouTubers are. We gotta we gotta ride the trends, right? But I I wanna I wanna get in my Bleach content that I've been waiting to put out now because I honestly think Bleach is gonna a, a part of the big three coming back right now is gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge, right? I I just think it's gonna be it's gonna be a big thing, right? It's gonna be amazing. Hopefully the adaptation is gonna be good. Right, and I talk about that more in one of my Bleach videos that I'm going to be, once again, putting out later this week, I think. But I'm not 100% sure on the order of which these videos are going to be coming out. Um, one I glossed over, I want to go back a little bit. It's not really an anime, but it's a movie to an anime. And uh, I think y'all know what I'm talking about. It's, it's Demon Slayer. It's Demon Slayer. Now, as y'all may know, if you're <laughs> deep in the anime community... Most movies of an anime are going to look better than the anime themselves, right? They have more money put into it. They have more time put into it, right? Case in point, Dragon Ball Super's Dragon Ball Super Broly compared to really most of Dragon Ball Super is night and day, right? Some of the best animation I've ever seen, right? Now, My Hero Academia movies are a good example as well. Even though My Hero Academia does not have bad animation, they definitely kick it up when they get to the movies, now imagine Demon Slayer getting that movie treatment. It's even if now this arc is fire that it's covering, right? But even if the arc was terrible, right? Even if this Demon Slayer arc was garbage, I would still be watching the movie just for how spectacular this movie is going to look. And just letting you guys know, for all of you that haven't read the manga for some odd reason, Ren Goku is going to be the star of the show. Like, I'm just saying that. Hands down, watch for Ren Goku. He's going to be fire. You're going to love him. Simple as that, right? All of these just have me so hype, right? And then there's one that, if you guys like plot twists, if you guys have been invested in <laughs> this anime since, like, 2013, you're going to be hyped for this, but a little probably worried. Attack on Titan, well, it's getting a movie, but we'll, we'll gloss over that one since it's not as hype as this. Attack on Titan Season 4. We all know the trailers. We, we watched them as soon as they came out. Come on now. Let's, let's, not, let's not act like we did not watch the trailers for Attack on Titan as soon as they came out. Attack on Titan Season 4 is coming out. And honestly, I gotta say, I gotta say it's looking like I'm optimistic for it. Some people are like, no, I didn't want it changed. I didn't want this. I didn't want that. I honestly think that it's going to it's going to look good. I think they're going to do it justice personally, right? But let me know, I guess in the comment section down below if you guys think for some reason that it's just not going to get the justice that Wit Studio gave it before, right? Um I personally think that it will, but you know, I'm open to hearing why it won't do well. I think all of these are just going to be swinging and just hitting these out of the park. I think right now, like with all the bad times that have been going on, anime is is gonna be like we're we're needing we're in some desperate times for some good anime entertainment right now and i think that we're coming up on uh, at a point in the year going into the next year where we're getting it we're gonna get it and it's gonna be amazing honestly um that's what this video mostly was about it's really to build hype to ramp you guys up to get you guys hype for the upcoming times because i know that these times are depressing they're sad they're probably lonesome to some people and solemn, right? But I hope that this video was able to uplift your spirits ever, just even if it's just a slight bit. Just get you guys hyped for this series, get you guys hyped for my prediction videos on this, all that good stuff. Because uh, I don't know what anime I'm going to do a prediction video on first, but just, you know, be aware that I will be dropping prediction video on one of the anime that I outlined in here tomorrow and maybe a prediction video after that. But I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on what the schedule is for the prediction videos but we still going daily as much as we can so just letting you guys know that hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always this is anime x signing off